Hello ladies and gentlemen, Commissar Zero here, bringing you a new Let's Play. Just move the mic a little bit. This is RimWorld. It's basically, uh, well essentially, a, a, a simplified version of Dwarf Fortress. Um, not to say the AI and the, the stats aren't simplified, but the interface, everything, you can actually see. You can understand what's going on without having to delve deep into the sort of meaning and code and all that jazz. And it doesn't look like the Matrix or anything along those lines. But it's great, it allows you, it's a about some crash survivors and setting up your own little survivor colony and it has narrative and it's absolutely amazing. Now, the reason I'm starting one of these again is quite simply because my other Let's Play, the Star Wars Sins mod, is coming towards an end. It's quite frankly, the Empire has won that. Um, and there's a new version out. See? April 17th, 2015. New version up here. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. So I've created a world. Uh, these are the AI storytellers. They allow you to different ones mean different things. This is, gives you time between situations. This is all random, and this has a, a learning curve sort of um, gives you a easy start and then a hard end. So we'll go with random because if I lose, we can just start again. It'll be interesting to watch you guys, you guys, to watch me die horribly. And we'll go with rough. I think we'll go with this home world. And we will set up our colony, I think, here. Mountainous allows me to go all dwarf fortressy. Okay, right. So, these are the different stats and all that jazz. Oh, that one's very good. Research, cooking, and social. Heat tolerant, but has chemical fascination. Quite young. Incapable of hauling, though, might be a slight issue. Right, let's see if we can find a good constructor and my. Oh, my. Good giddy aunt. You're good at everything. Right, you're staying. Johnny, you're with us. How's he a sickly child? He's good at everything except... Con right, so we need a good builder, really. Uh, ooh, that's very good. A bit abrasive, but... A bit old... I think we can deal with that age, that's alright. And you've got good cooking and medicine. And you're all actually okay at shooting. Excellent. I think we'll go with this. Alright, I'm going to load it up. Unfortunately, Fraps and Rimworld hate each other, so I'm going to pause the recording and get back to you as soon as it's loaded. See you in a minute. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. We've all landed and we're good to go. Right, so, let's see what we've got to work with. So we're in this sort of corner, so I reckon we should box ourselves off here, set up a wall. Of course, there's quite a good chance that this is place, and there's probably stuff up here. It tends to happen quite a lot, so... But, we're going to set up around here, I reckon. So we give ourselves some orders, or zoning even, I should say. We'll put a dumping stockpile... Well, I don't know, here. It's been a while since I've played this, actually, ladies and gentlemen, so you'll have to give me a while. We'll put a normal stockpile, let's say, here. Go 16 by 16. And we'll grow some growing zones as well. We do 8 by 8. You can grow potatoes, and you, my good sir, can grow corn, both of which are very good. Well, D forbid, or if that's a word even, all this lovely stuff. So you can haul it around to your heart's content. Alright, now which ones of you are... You're okay at shooting. You're a bad. You're really good at... You're not... Amazing at shooting, but you've got the best stats for learning, and we'll give you... You can melee a little bit. Right. Time to get the mining options out. So, do I go... Uh, I think I'll go up. Do I want to create a corridor? Because I can go like that. And then like this. 
and then create several rooms like this. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this part's always quite boring, I'm afraid. And that can be sort of the down, the, the lounge dining room sort of thing. And we can create a kitchen and a storage room. But first we need to create beds, so I should probably focus on that first. Right, um... We go 5 by 5, that seems good enough. And that should hopefully... We'll get three rooms and a medical room as well. Right, get to it, gents. One of you can't haul, but the other can grow. Mm, you're walking very slowly. Is there something wrong with you? I did not know. Ooh, cry sleep sickness. So that means you're frail. Well, we'll, we'll just have to hope for the best, I suppose. We we'll also need to create a sort of kitchen which I can connect to something or other. That should be alright. And we can put one there as well. And we'll just have to wall that part off. The only thing is that... Mm, right, we're going to have to... It's not particularly effective, but if we're going to do... a relatively large storage room for a kitchen. Alright, if I cancel these, I cancel that, I cancel these, it means they'll just focus purely on these rooms, which is the important thing that needs to be done. So you need beds. Let's see what they've actually given us to work with. Power's relatively the same. Production looks relatively the same. Oh, we've got a joy section now to keep them happy. That's quite cool. Well, obviously, you can probably research stuff as well. Oh, of course, we'll need power. Silly me. Where are we going to store it? We need a couple of lines of defense. Obviously, these two areas will be our defensive lines. For the moment, I say we just go with that. Unfortunately, we might not have enough iron to work with, so we'll have to we'll have to maintain something. I have to look at the overview as well. So this prioritizes basically it allows you to prioritize certain things. So this guy's really good at doctoring. So you're a doctor. You're both actually quite good at doctoring, so you can be two. Firefighting always comes up first. Patient will then come as first after that, because they'll need it. What's a flick? Flick switches. <laughs> Alright, we'll put that on one as well, because if we need it, turn it on. That can go on one. So these will only happen irregularly. Cooking. One. Constructing. One. You seem to be our only hunter. Uh, put that on one. Growing, who's the best grower? You are. Mining. You're both good at mining, so you can go on two, because these will take priority. As for researching, we'll, we'll put you on one. Everything else is okay for the moment. So they've struck compacted steel. It's not iron in this, sorry, it's steel. Which we've completely run out of, by the way. What's this made out of? Sandstone. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna claim all of that. So we can deconstruct it. I know you're tired, gents, but we need to get you in here to make us some rooms.
probably not prioritizing very well, but at the beginning it should be all right. We just need to get the rooms up. I don't need both of you growing. Oh god, you can change outfits. Timetables. Oh, this is new. That's the same, that's the same. But that timetable thing's definitely new. Alright, so we'll work on that at some point. Where's the growing? I'll tell you where growing is, it's right in front of me and I can't read it. Why are you on four? Let's turn you completely off. Why are you idle? What are you actually doing? But you can mine, so mine. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. No, no. I realise this is now a major mistake. Go that way. We're going to have to sleep a few nights in the rough, I'm afraid, otherwise it's not going to be a particularly comfortable night. Hmm. Ooh, a name. What should we call it, ladies and gentlemen? Well, in honour of our l late and quite dead City Skylines thing, let's call it Yarrick's Town. For the Emperor. Yes, Johnny, get mining. Oh, good God. What have we got? What have we got? Just one. What are they equipped with? A shiv. Right. Well, keep going. I can then... I'll get you... When he's about to raid, I'll get you all ready for war and you can shoot him. Do we have a geothermal port, actually? That's a good point, because those are always very useful. There's one there. Oh, here we go. Get ready to go, gents. There we go. Well done. get one of you to strip. I think the noises have changed as well, which is quite uh, gratifying to hear. Get one of you to... Oh. Ooh, that's a... That's a... Slate wall, which is a bit worrying. Hopefully that means, because there can be bad things in walled areas like robots or something worse hopefully it's not going to be that but um yes oh they're sleeping in the rain wander and stomp still at least they're doing shifts so obviously their needs oh this is taking a Big change, look at that joy, rest, food. You know what, for the time being... Furniture, we're gonna put some sleeping spots in here. And we're gonna put... One steel wall, just one, and one steel order door, because this is going to be the entrance to our base, so quite frankly, it needs to be done. It's 
So this revealed an area, ladies and gentlemen, that we can use. And because it's already a ready-made room, I thought, why not? At least they can sleep indoors out of the rain. Right, so... Ah, well, we don't have any power anyway, so it's not bothering me. Let's take a look more at their needs, because quite frankly, this is new. And it helps break it down, because this was always here, and mood was always here. Hideous environment. Well, it's not too bad, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you can change this as well, that's quite good. Right, so we're going to give you a wooden bed. And we'll just put a normal wooden door here. I know we need defences, but food seems more important at the moment, so we're going to hunt something. We'll hunt one buffalo, well, muffalo even. Can I even, oh hang on, might not be able to butcher without a butcher's table, so we need to work on that. <sighs> Bad back, that's gonna just... And moving has just become the worst for you. And it's... You've become a real problem for me, Wanda. At least you're indoors now. See what your health feels like. It always takes a while to get this up and running. Oh, is that a boom rat? Squirrel, boom squirrel, whatever it's called. Boom rat. So those things explode when they die, which is absolutely lovely. Clearly, evolution was thinking. Wonder your saw, so I'm going to deconstruct you. You can go to Wanda. See if it's set our home zone already. It should do it automatically. See, home zone. Solar flare. It's okay, we don't need power at this point. So these little things here, compacted steel, different colour from the rest. Gold ore here. 
So we'll mine them out and fill it up again with doors or something. And we'll create this as our sort of main dining room type thing. And eventually we might re-change it a bit so it's like a hallway and... We do need defences, but I've always found when I do these playthroughs, it might have changed in this edition that I can get away with a bit more than I usually do. So here's hoping. That's nearly built. Once their rooms are built, we can start working on something a bit more important. A medieval farm oath. Now some of these are people who've donated money towards it. Let's see. Oh she's gone. She went just she skirted the border and left. Nice. There's loads of geothermals up here. We might be able to do some craftiness and possibly expand into here. Wall off this area. Put some defences around it, maybe. Just get another wooden bed up. And a wooden door. They, they're much like in Dwarf Fortress. They need rooms. There we go, so they've got their own rooms now. Summer has begun, but winter is coming. As long as that grows on one, they'll do whatever. We've got two miners and a scientist. Obviously with the timetable you could probably structure it so someone's asleep and the rest can work during the night or something, but I'm... As cool as that is, I'm gonna leave that alone for the moment until we've at least got more than three people. Those could be useful. We should go get those when we can. So you're both women. Man, no, you're a man. You're oh, you're both men. You're the only woman. You two are quite overweight from the looks of it. Still, the overweight guy is the biggest badass of the gun, so I don't know what that tells you about it. Whereas the woman's the best shot of a pistol. I don't know what that says as we're getting about <laughs> that sort of thing. Food's still low. This is quite bad. You seem to be okay on food at the moment. We just need to set up a table and maybe a nutrients dispenser, which we can put in the kitchen. Where are you going? Oh dear god. Well if you're going that way, haul them.
I really need to create a shortcut there. I might do that, in fact. Right, hopefully you'll make it back in time to eat that damn thing. I know. Draft. Eat it. All it. Your mood's gone up enough so that we're alright for the moment. Uh, it's gone a bit harder than it used to be, I'll give it that. Usually you have enough food to last a bit longer, and this food grows faster as well. Quite significantly. Well, this grows a lot slower. So meat actually becomes a thing. Exhaustion. Oh, it's because Wanda's such an idiot, that's why. Look, you're the slowest. Get someone to haul it for you. What are you doing? Visitors. Pretty good shooter. Seems to be a decent person. He's probably going to come and eat all my food now. Right, to carry on. Sort of just barely surviving, but it should be enough, hopefully. Hmm. We'll put a hopper. We don't we don't want to make it too big. So we'll do that for the moment. That's where the batteries will go. Oh, you can eat the potato oh thank god. The potatoes are ready. But they'll spoil quite quickly, so we need to get the fridge ready. Praying? That's a new thing. That's that's new. Praying is not usually something that occurs. Currently a cool 25 degrees Celsius. Yep. Which is quite warm actually. Quite, that's very hot. We 
We need some more haulers. I think these wild animals are eating my stuff as well, which isn't particularly becoming. So. So, priority list. Get the kitchen ready. Butcher table and... Ooh. Go to bed, Wanda. She is wandering about. It's a great night. Right, priority level. Build the kitchen. Get the kitchen appliances set up. Get some butcher's tables, that judge. Then fridge. Batteries first, then fridge. Then get a communication set up so we can trade. And then defences. Defences come last at the moment. Uh, right, so I think that will be enough for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are enjoying this new playthrough. I certainly am. Terribly sorry for being horrifically bad at this, but what can I say? That's me. <laughs> anyway, um, carry, um, tune in next time to find out how the people of Yarrickstown do. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen.